So we're back with another instalment of our monthly musings. Uh, and when this goes out, I think we're going to be on a plane on the way to the US. Don't tell him that, he doesn't know that yet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to be over at the She Believes Cup, which I think we'll come on to. We'll miss him very much. miss him very much. Terribly. I wish he'd come with us. Conti Cup final. Yep. Pretty damn good. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? It was a pretty good, good old match. I think it was the most absorbing cup final, Conti Cup final that we've seen, of the eight that we've seen. Um, it's definitely the most dramatic, most entertaining, um, best quality of play, I think, as well. Yeah, I think we probably both went into this a little bit. I, I was worried it might be another drubbing against Chelsea. I didn't want that. We always love the Chelsea Arsenal fixture. They always it generally produces some quality football, um, and I was a little bit worried given the squad depth and all that kind of stuff. The injuries they've been suffering. I mean, I know Arsenal always turn up at, at cup finals, but I just didn't want that to happen again. I wanted it to be a really good match, and it really, really was. <laughs> it was. You were right. I was right. You even got the prediction of the score. Uh, yeah, it's pretty impressive. I thought it was going to be tight. I didn't think Arsenal would leave themselves as open as they did before. Um, yeah, I mean, you got to hope that Jim and Tamira wouldn't make that mistake twice as yeah. he did in that game in January and, and leave them wide open. Mm -hmm. And I think players turned up on both sides. I mean, the big players turned up. We got to see um, Leicester. Um, we got to see their, their FA Cup game. Uh, not very unfortunately, it was Thursday night. Went to extra time. Very late night, late night home for us. But very it was cold. cold. It was oh, it's very cold. So but it was cold. it was worth it, wasn't it? It was another two really really good goals as well, and great to see them progress. Yeah, I think um, Leicester have such a good young squad. Uh, it's taken them a bit of time to gel and get their form going. Um, but I think they had a great night against Reading, um, and their young players, their young attacking players, have all the potential, and um, they did the job business. I mean, you've got Paige Bailey Gale. Um, who played brilliantly, you've got the her two goals, you've got Annabelle Blanchard and Charlie Devlin and Ella Rutherford so when they come together mm. they can really hit it off in terms of producing the goals and the attack and play. Well you did mention the cold which is another thing, I feel like I talked about this last month as well but the weather has been terrible this month, we've had so many games called off, there were times I forgot what football was, it just, it's been a nightmare. It's been, yeah it's been tough and like it's frustrating for us, not getting to games and having to make plan A, plan B. But I mean, it, I can only imagine how frustrating it yeah. is for players to train all week, to prepare all week for games, and them to be called off late, late as well. Um, and it's just, there's not much you can do about it. Well, you need better facilities to yeah. start with. But I mean, you, you saw games even, I don't know, at the top of the men's league yeah. being called off as well. So, I mean, what, what can you really do? And I mean, they are getting better. I mean, we've got kind of gone from games being called off like a half an hour before when teams have travelled to being called off you know a couple of days in advance and I think there's been coverage there's some really good articles have come out around women's FA Cup around the payment or lack of um, and how some clubs really suffer so that I feel like that's given them a bit of impetus to, to make those decisions a lot earlier. And I think it's just sensible I mean we all saw the, the warnings before Storm Kira and Storm Dennis mm. um, we knew it was going to hit and they hit pretty bad. Um, I really like what the FAWNL did and called them off yeah. the day before because it just took the pressure off the clubs. Yeah. And if it's not safe to travel and if it's not safe to play, then I mean, above all, that, that, that's not worth more than football. She Believes Cup, one of our favourite little tournaments. Always a bit of a crazy couple of days as we fly the length and breadth of the US, it feels like. Um, we've been to Orlando before, we've yeah. been to New York before. We haven't been to Frisco, and when I say Frisco, I mean Dallas, because we're not really going to spend much time in Frisco, are we? I mean, yeah. <laughs> so I'm, looking, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, no, it's going to be a good tournament, I think. It's going to be really interesting. The England squad is a young Well, it's a nice mix of youth yeah. and um, more senior players, um, but it's a real chance for some of those younger players to to make their mark on Phil Neville. Um, I mean, we've got the likes of Chloe Kelly, who's been brilliant for, for yeah. Everton this season. Um, Lauren Hemp's pace is just phenomenal. I mean, we've watched her since she was at 17, I think, and um, I still remember her debut for Bristol, and she just whizzed past about three defenders up <laughs> the field. Um, uh, but no, it's going to be really good. We've got Grace Fisk as well. Um, we've also seen her come through at the youth level. She's captained England at yeah. all of the youth levels, um, and she's an absolutely quality defender. 
So I'm, great. I'm really glad she's got her chance. Yeah. I think we're probably have a similar feeling towards this tournament as we did. Slightly differing feeling towards um, the County Cup final. I'm slightly nervous. I like to consider myself a bit more of a realist. You know, I'm conscious of the fact that England haven't had that kind of warm up camp that they've had in January. They've got, you know, a number of injuries and off the back of what was a bit of a tumultuous time post World Cup. So it's going to be really interesting to see how they take on the US. It's going to be a big challenge. Um, but I think. You know, some of the, the key players had a really, really good game in the Conti Cup and I think that's going to be helpful, it's going to be great for the confidence, the likes of Millie Bright and Beth England, I thought Leah Williamson and Jordan Nobbs had great games. If you look at the some of those key England players, they're back to their best form. I mean, Beth England, I mean, she's hanging out for it's just a season, she's yeah. just in flying form, best striker in the league at the moment. Yeah. Um, uh, you've got Leah Williamson, who's probably in the form of her very young career so far. Um, I mean, she, she's just, wherever you play her, she just seems to dominate the ball. And Jordan Nobbs is looking back to her best. So while we're missing the very important Lucy Bonds, mm -hmm. um, I, I do think we've got players who are playing really, really well and can capitalise. And at the end of the day, this is a friendly tournament. Um, and it, that's what this tournament is for, is trying young players, giving them the opportunity, especially ahead of the likes of the Euros, especially given we don't have qualification and, of course, I know we're not thinking about the Olympics, but really we are thinking about the Olympics because, you know, it's another opportunity for Phil Neville to see some players. Speaking of Euro 2021, 20, Ireland have uh, some impo very important qualifiers. Um, I really feel like this is our year. I'm, I'm convinced of it. Um, so some really big games coming up for them. Um, yeah, they're the only ones in qualifying action this yeah. week. Um, they play Greece uh, at home and then Montenegro, I think, away next week. Um, so it's going to be... Two games where you think they can get, they should get results. It's going to be a fun week anyway, with lots of international football. Um, youth levels are playing, yep. under 19 the out in Le Manga. Um, you've got Scotland, Northern Ireland in the Pinnacle Cup. Wales play Estonia yep. in a friendly. Um, loads. Just got just loads. Just just and we're going to be over in America and we want to know if there's anything you guys want to see. We're going to be giving you the chance to choose where we go in Dallas. I think that's probably the best place to do it. Um, we'll be giving you some insight into New York, probably not Orlando, we're not a little bit boring, we're not there very long. Um, but we will definitely be bringing you along with us on the tournament. So if there's anything you want to see, let us know in the comments, give us some tips, some, you know, what things are missing or what things you want to you catch in the tournament or want to feel like behind the scenes, what kind of stuff you want to see. Um, let us know and we will certainly try and give you that. Yeah. But we're very much looking forward to it. See you soon. See you soon. Bye.